So, I guess this is sort of the 100 Days of Comics vlog, part one. Um, I don't normally do this sort of thing. Uh, I'll throw up wacky stuff of me just being a maniac, or I'll put up art. So this is uh, a little bit weird to be just conversational. Um, to offset the normalness of my conversation, I have set up the lighting so that I have weird Venetian blinds on my face, uh, and that's how we're doing that. So enjoy my face blinds. Uh, but this is the 100 Days of Comics project, uh, which I first heard about was inspired to do by Kevin Cross, uh, who is on YouTube as Kevin Cross, and you can find his stuff online everywhere under that name. He's a comic guy and a band guy and a illustrator and all that kind of loveliness. Uh, I also know him originally. He did some podcasts, um, big illustration party time, and then later art and story with uh, Jersey Droz and uh, Mark Rudolph. All interesting people with good things to say. Uh, all good podcasts, although most of them are defunct, they're still worth checking out. Uh, but the point is, for me, uh, I'm, I've already sort of been working on a comic. I, I, I work as a professional artist. Uh, I got a degree in animation. Uh, I live in California now. I used to live in New Jersey and work in New York. Uh, and I've worked for you know Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and MTV, places like that. I've done some comic stuff, uh, mostly things people wouldn't have seen. Some uh, stuff for Rubicon Publishing in, in Canada and uh, you know full color 40, 80 page books that uh, I think were sold to schools and nowhere else. And I've done a couple weird comics uh, for like insurance companies and uh, corporations and uh, like to advertise software and and also vanity projects for people who just wanted me to draw their script and then actually didn't do anything with it. So I've got a fair amount of experience, although nothing anyone would ever see as far as comics. Uh, I'm also just a straight up illustrator, I do characters at parties, whatever I could do to you know get work and pay the bills. Um, but recently uh, my workload has cut way back, um, partially intentionally, and uh, I've been trying to focus on working on a project for myself, a comic book project, which I haven't really done in years, kind of ever. I mean, in high school and after, I tried doing some more superhero type 22 page comics and never finished a single one of them. Uh, later, I did a couple zines, uh, which had articles and things like that, or I would do collections of a comic strip I used to do on a daily paper. Um, but just a straight up 22 page comic. I, for myself, I've never completed. Uh, and so that is the goal that I've been sort of working towards, and it's it's been hard, weirdly enough, to motivate myself to do it, because I guess there's such a uh, ability to fail, and there's no deadline, and it's there's no money involved, and, you know, it's weird to sort of try to reclaim passion that uh, is why I started doing this, uh, but yet has long been absent as I see this as a job, and this is, you know, I draw for a living, it's not fun. It's more fun than moving garbage bags and things like that, sure, but I, I'm, I try to be very professional, and that sort of ability to take criticism and not commit myself emotionally to the work makes me good at what I do, but it also takes the passion out of it. And so, uh, part of doing a project like this, aside from finding the time to do it, is, uh, <laughs> I just saw the lines on my face again, I'm getting all serious, and I'm like, lines? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's daunting in, in a lot of weird ways that it shouldn't be, because it should be just like, great, I have time to work on something I like, this is awesome. And instead it's like, I'm cleaning the house instead of working on it, I'm, I'm taking work when I said I wasn't going to, and, and in between I have worked on it. I've done uh, quite a few character sketches, uh, I've worked out, the hardest part was the writing, because I always have a lot of ideas, but uh, writing a script is like something I've never really done, so... I sort of have the outline beginning to end of the entire story, and then several scenes with dialogue and stuff like that. So this is just to let you know where I am starting. Uh, the 100 Days of Comics, uh, I don't know that there's a rule you're supposed to start from scratch. I don't think it matters. I know some people try to finish by the end of the 100 Days, others don't. Uh, I've already started, uh, and I think the other rule is usually at least 30 minutes a day. I'm going to try to do way better than that because I have a lot more free time right now, but even on like a Saturday when I have to do other stuff with family or whatever, I will still get at least 30 minutes in, uh, and hopefully other days will be more like hours. Uh, so this is day one, for example, and today I put in about an hour and 15 minutes, uh, which again, I would like to be doing more. I did housework and a lot of other garbage. Uh, I cut my hair with way more extremely than I meant to. <laughs> but uh, so what I did in that hour uh, and 15 minutes is I just sort of did a, a rough sketch idea of there's a bar sort of 
uh, atmosphere in the comic, and there's a character who's the bartender named Dan, who I've never even attempted to draw. So I just sort of doodled around a little bar background and kind of sketched out what I think he might look like. And I'll put that up at the end of the video to show you what I did. Uh, and it was a quick thing. It might not even be the final character design, but it is a character design for that character for the comic, so therefore it counts. Uh, once I'd finished that, because that only took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes or whatever, uh, then I looked at my... Out I have two documents for uh, in terms of writing. I have my sort of everything, which has character uh, descriptions, and it has snippets of dialogue, and, and things, hey, maybe I'll do this, maybe I won't, and like, you know, if I do this, then turn to page eight, and we go this way, that kind of stuff, um, as well as other things like printer information, and, and other, anything related to that comic, but then separate from that, I have a document called Just Outline, and I think it's like 52 numbered things, all less than a paragraph, where just sort of like, this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, and I just compiled that like a day or so ago. Uh, and it's actually making the writing a lot easier because while initially I did a lot of organic what would be cool, what would people say, what do I want to see, when I try to like read that pile of the main file, it's hard to get a sense of is this story going in the right direction, is it cohesive, does it have a beginning, middle, and end, blah, 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 blah. So when I look at that outline, it's a lot easier. So today, I went back for the first time and reread it. Um, it holds up pretty okay. It could definitely be improved, but uh, it, it, you know, if I did it as is, it wouldn't be unintelligible. Um, I did then go and rewrite a few things in the outline, some grammar and that kind of stuff, uh, just so that when I can show it to other people, uh, like my wife or whoever, for proofreading, they'll be able to understand it. Uh, not proofreading, but, you know, con what do you think of this concept? Tell me I'm good. Um, but, so, uh, and I changed a few things here and there in the outline, um, which then I'll eventually incorporate into the main story thing. So, that's day one of 100 Days of Making Comics. Um, in case you couldn't tell uh, from the channel, I am Gazbot, uh, otherwise known as Gaz Gretzky. And uh, yeah, so that's it for day one. I guess I'll be doing this for 99 more days.